play. Because mm-hmm. that's what it was last year. That it was basically like either he dropped back, got sacked, or he had to scramble and do something else. Gio told me he was a running back. Uh, Gio was racist, so I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, you got him like what? Wide receiver one instead of having to like look through this draft for like a wide receiver no, one. The thing is, like, nobody, you, dude, unless you get Marvin Harrison Jr. next year, you're not getting a receiver that's going to be as good as DJ Moore within the next couple of years. Exactly. Like, this wide receiver class is. If you're looking for a wide receiver one, buddy, I hate to well, break the news to you. It's, it's it's a deep class. Like, you can get good players down the board. Like, Jalen Hyatt going to somewhere is going to be really good, I think. I think it's more like wide receiver two or three. Like, you just be like, yeah, yeah. this is like, I need like a comp. But I'm like, yeah. I need we're talking about like Marvin Harrison, in, like, JJ. That's, that's why I think the Vikings cut Thielen, because they're just going to pick up, like, JSN or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they also saved, like, a bunch of money just cutting him. To be fair, like I feel like he wasn't getting that many touches this year, as a uh, Adam Thielen. As somebody who played him, <laughs> as someone who played him, <laughs> someone who played him, you know, I would know. But you had Jefferson too. I had the so whole was, wide. So I had the was, whole Vikings. Oh, that's right. You had all of them. You had all of them. Complete. Guys, like I think. What wide receivers do you want? The Vikings. I think after Thielen, like, I completely forgot when I drafted uh, the third guy, KJ Osborne. Yeah. I, like, drafted him, and I was like, wait a minute. He plays for the Vikings, too. And I was like, ah, dang it, bro. He traded away Thielen for, uh, oh, that ridiculous thing. He traded away Thielen for Jalen Waddle. I got Thielen and uh, Kittle. I traded away Thielen and Kittle for Jalen Waddle. And then that was that was when that was when Jimmy. This is G- why I don't want to play a, a fantasy league with Chasen ever again. This that was, but that was like, dude, that was before Kittle like blew up with um. Yeah, that's when he was Purdy. That's when he stank it up, and I was like, oh god, dude, I don't want to have to play this guy right now. It sucks having those players where you're like, he's too good that I can't bench him, but he's also like been bad this year that. I want to bench him every week. Yeah, that was that was the pick Kittle this year, man. I cannot wait to see what the Falcons do because the Falcons are at eight. Or, yeah, Falcons are at eight. So the Raiders and the Falcons are going to be uh, fighting for Will Levis. Dude, that Cardinals, that Cardinals pick is about it. Yeah, like, you can good. you can get a bunch. You can, they could get a bunch if they really want to trade down now. Yeah. Pick, pick what? It's like it's like what are the teams up there uh, other than like the what Bears? Not the Bears. The uh, the Panthers want a QB, and then like the Seahawks and the Lions could also take a QB if they really want to. They just just like I mean I guess. Man, I think the Seahawks uh, are gonna take a late round quarterback. I think so too. I don't DTR, right now. DTR, save my, save my Seahawks, baby. Yeah, I saw um, what's his name, just uh, DTR. Uh, what's his name? See his stupid face. Yeah, yeah that guy. I know who you're talking about. What uh? Um, because... Jalen Carter, but he will slip because he is a bad character. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Jalen Carter's gonna slip past five. He's a bad character. He's gonna slip. They killing people on the field and off the field. Bro. <laughs> uh, That's fuck. just you hating UGA. Oh, most definitely. But like. I know exactly where he raced to. I was like, are you serious, bro? Like, why would you race on this part of the road, man? I know there's no one there, but like, come on, man. Is it like hilly? Is it like no, hilly dude. Part? It's like, that part is like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like not that pop, like, it's like less populated because it's like a bit further out from like UGA, but like, it's still like a decent amount of people there. It's like, 
quote unquote outside of the college sphere, but like right next to it still, at the peripheries. Good, good word usage. Thank you. Oh it is, God, is a I bit of hill. Saw, I think. Hmm? <laughs> I just saw the Niners' first pick is at ninety-nine. <laughs> Why not serious, man? The first pick is ninety-nine. That's why I've Paris not been paying attention to draft stuff, man. That one is not my business. Oh my God. Paris said, man, I, I'm not turning in until day three, buddy. Yeah, that one is not my business. I don't know who the good players are. I'm not looking at QB discourse. <laughs> I'm just like. I mean, it's a, it's not it's not too much thing. worse than the Broncos' first pick being 67. That's a third. Yeah, it's a third. Wait, when is the when is the is the 49ers also on, on a third round or two? Which could be right. No, beginning of the fourth. Thing. Yeah. Oh God! I've been like listening to like random like NFL podcasts while I drive, and they're like, "Oh yeah, you know, like they're breaking down like position groups. They're like, you know, here are my top eights, and then there'll be like dudes that are like, ah, oh, you know, just you know, just out of like you know, you know, honorable mentions." And I'm like, man, 49ers looking at them honorable mention guys, like, man, that's those gonna be our boys, bro. <laughs> I swear. Mike Shan, you know what's funny? They're gonna draft a running back with that 99th pick. Ty J Spears, you! No, Ty, Ty J Spears ain't getting to 99, I don't think. Dude, he's, there's no way. That guy, like, tested amazing. Yeah. He didn't run before. Did he? I thought he did. Yeah, he did. He had a goal in the shoot. Man, Ty J's gonna be a the second Saints, rounder. The Saints gonna pick him at second. No, I don't think he's gonna be second, but I think he'll be good to, like, 71. Because the running back's on the board. Are you gonna do a PFF for us? Uh, well, I just want to see the running backs. Congratulations, uh, Alvin. Yeah, congrats, Alvin. Now you can stay in Las Vegas. Um, ah, uh, fuck. Deshaun Robinson, Jameer Gibbs, Zach Charbonnet, Devin Aching, Dwayne McBride. Tank Bigsby, Ken, Kendra Miller, uh, Tajay, they have Tajay at 98 on PFF. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's I think the Saints are legit. I mean, you know what, I might as well do a do a I'm about to do one too. I'm picking out of Northwestern. Added to me, well, added by the way. Uh, edge rusher? Yes. Place edge slash security. He's more security than edge, obviously. Any password? Let me, I just went all the way up to the tree first. Let's see, they have, they have Bryce Moore Young going first, and CJ Will, Anthony Richardson going fourth. Jalen Carter to the Seahawks, Christian Gonzalez, Oregon, the Lions, Will Levis to Man. Yeah, they have they have Paris Johnson Jr. going to uh the Bayers. Yeah, that would make sense. They have Quentin Johnson as the first wide receiver going off the board. I mean I don't know that that's guy. just every individual changes. I just don't know about that guy, but he's. They were like, this guy plays small for a six four, six foot four guy, and like, that's not good. I mean, his thing was his hands, which playing big is what you're gonna do for the wide receiver. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Stretch out and get bigger wings. Um. I don't know. It kind of just depends who falls. I need Nolan Smith to be a to be on my team, bro. Uh, like he shot himself up. Bro. He, might, like, he might. He might. He might. Like, uh, this knock I'm doing. They had the Seahawks take Tyree Wilson and Nolan Smith. Don't make me cry. Like, give me. Give me. Give me new veterans, please. For real. Yeah. 
Why would they need another wide receiver? Ah. I mean, look how much Para, how's that game where you like are in quote unquote feudal Japan and you're beating up monsters? Oh, dude, it's so much fun, dude. It's just like Monster Hunter, but like it's like Monster Hunter and Fortnite combined. <laughs> It's like Monster Hunter, but you can build. So you can like build stuff to jump on, you can build stuff to like spring you around to dodge, you can build like a torch to light your weapon on fire. So much fun, dude. I'm not even that fine to it and I'm already like grinding, just like doing all the optional quests, like getting better at the game, like it's really really fun. I saw it and I was like, this kinda looks like Monster Hunter. I was yeah. like, it looks I was like I was like this looks interesting. It's like, heavily inspired by uh Heavily inspired by Monsanto. Man. World and Rise especially. I need you and the rumor rush to get into it. You won't have to get wrong thing, bro. I still don't got a PS5. I'm just chilling on my yeah, Switch. It's on oh yeah, it's on next gen only, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping But P uh Roma Rush bro, Roma Rush is gonna be on that. Mm -hmm. get, get Roma Rush on bro. Yeah, I need him. Mm. Yep, that's the line. That is the line, I found the line. I'm just doing crash. I'm playing Trackmania right now and like man, this game is so it's the type of game that would have been on your high school computer. Like uh <laughs> when you were in school would and guys cool would, math games? Yeah, it should have been on Crazy Monkey Games <laughs> It's like you're playing a remote control car but like it's life size, so people like the entire community like builds tracks and you just like race on the tracks and there's like a campaign every season winter spring summer and fall there's like a new campaign but like the official campaign by the devs and it's just like um you play on the maps and the maps go from white to green to blue to red to black and the maps get harder to complete so it's like uh it's like very arcadey because the maps are like puzzles that you have to solve so like by by trying again and again you get better on the maps and it's just very rewarding to slowly learn a map see your time get faster navigate all the hazards and it's just like yeah very rewarding gameplay when you can finish one of these without crashing mario kart yeah exactly like mario karts Otherwise, oh, why would i crash there oh my god dude yeah it's like mario karts uh for people that didn't grow up on nintendo and i think i saw a trailer for like a new mario kart that just dropped or something like this morning for Mario Kart, they've been so like the whole year they've been putting out like the DLC, oh. like old like old maps and old slash newer maps, just yeah. like updated for like the Switch. So people have been like, oh, okay, like nice. Oh, so like they're like, the, there's the latest Mario Kart game is already out and they're just adding stuff to it. Yeah, it's been out for like two years. Yeah, that's how this game is too. It's technically free to play, but like they just keep adding stuff to it, and then if you want to like. Uh, Oh, I can't believe I saved that! What the hell? If you want to like participate in tournaments and stuff, then there's like uh, like a yearly access that you can do that gets you some perks and stuff. But like, yeah, they used to a lot of games are becoming like that now. Where instead of like yearly releases or every two years, they just like release the game and just keep updating it forever. And it's like more profitable for the developers too because instead of like waiting for the game to sell, they can just keep relying on players coming back. Dude, literally, like you said, literally with Mario Kart, they haven't released a new one in like I think like almost yeah. a decade now. It's it's the exact, literally the exact same game from Wii U. They just ported it over to Switch. Yeah, but I know Nintendo are very sick man. If like they don't like to do very consumer friendly decisions to what they like when people pay them. Ah, uh, we have the plan. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen any of their like mainline games ever go on sale. Yes. You have to like, you have to be like insane sick man. And then for the new Breath of the Wild, they finally bumped it up to like PS5, like the, the next gen like game I'm price. Sick man, sorry. I was like, <laughs> I, I live legit last draft I said, oh, save flowers is the last thing that one. Look what I did. You managed to do it. I mean, he's not going to last that one. 
All for all for Ty J Spears. <laughs> that guy's too funny, they keep, man. They keep booing me, but it's real. Man, I can't believe you're in uh, South, Car South California. Those nerds being, what's their face? USC. <laughs> Happiest moments of your life, Ethan, when that happened? What? When the when Tulane beat USD. I, I didn't think, I thought it would they kept it within the possession. Um, but uh, the fact that they put that is good. By the way, Ethan, the bit not the Bears, the Panthers will be selecting An Anthony Richardson number one overall. Wow, I That's feel awesome. it. I feel it. I feel it. Finally got silver. I can leave this map. Let me see what Ethan sent me. The COVID <laughs> issue. <laughs> the COVID it, issue. It, it. I love when people start like that. The COVID issue. Uh, the my my my. I, I haven't commented on it yet. Actually, I did comment earlier that got this discussion started, but I you can you can assume where my comment stood. But yeah, it, I find it very interesting how we rationalize these things. No, no, you see, guys, it's okay because they would have died anyways. Mm -hmm. With these harder campaign maps, I just have to target silver, man, because I haven't played Dragmania. In a very long time, and I'm still not, uh, still not that good at it. This is a new track mania, anyway. I'm playing FIFA against Union Berlin. Next FIFA I play is definitely going to be on PC. Yeah, it's easier to mod. Yep, I like. You don't play online. You don't play online. Yeah, I don't care about online, so. I'm going to like well, online, fix the all the licenses. You I'm can going to like and play online, but you have to remove the folder that has your mods in it when you go play online. It's the only issue. Because hmm. uh, it's something that you can cheat and stuff. <sighs> yeah, like ever since I started making the Tokyo Esperion team, I literally don't want to play FIFA any other way again. Like I just want to. Yeah, I hope that they make it better, like if they have like fake sponsors or something for your shirt. Because mm -hmm. it looks very weird just rocking it, pretending that you're like Fiorentina from years ago or whatever. Yeah, and I hate that like the the competition number doesn't change. Like if you go to like yeah. a Premier League uh, league. The number on the back of yeah. the shirt doesn't change, yeah. Even though the badge changes I know, that's why everything. It, that's why I have to fix it. I have to, like, I only pick kit templates with the same numbers. Mm -hmm. Like, the same number style, which sucks. Because there are some that I would like to use, but... But yeah, I wish that they would fix those two things, honestly. I do like that you change. You can change the kits of the stadium any time during the year now, though. Wait, you can change the kits any time during the year? I think so. It's nah, I think the, only, it only lets me at the end of the season. It's in the back panel. The 
last panel where you edit players, edit coach, or whatever. No way. Yeah, you can edit club stuff there too, I believe. So during the season, you can change kids. That's crazy. I've never even tried it before. Yeah. So if you don't like one, you can just change it. I always thought it's like you have to use it for a full season, and then at the end of the season, it lets you change. But I'll, I'll look for where it lets you do. It's it should be one of the panels in the last menu section, like the fifth one. It should like where it says edit manager, edit players, whatever. It should say edit club too. So I remember on my I don't I haven't clicked it honestly, but I do remember it being there when I did the created club. Mm -hmm. Which I guess would make sense, because some teams do have their stadiums renovated mid-season. Mm -hmm. And teams like Napoli have like a billion kids every season. Yeah. Oh, oh what a nice slide. My second, my second Schalke save of the year now. Because now all of our players have face cams. <laughs> That's what being in the second Bundesliga does to you. Who, right, man. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. I said, who can relate being in the second Bundesliga, man? Only uh, the real. All of the Hamburg fans. The boy, dude. When was the last time they were? <laughs> when was the last time they were in the Bundesliga? Was it 16, 17? Yeah, we Oh, what a nice slide! But I lost control. Oof. Yeah, that's the thing with this game too, there's different surfaces that you can drive on. So some maps are like regular road maps, some maps are grass, and then some maps are ice, and like driving on ice is just so difficult because you have no grip, so your car just like does whatever it wants basically. And there's a way to control this, but it's very difficult. We're supposed to like drift on it. I mean, it's better than just like hold R2 and pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I game because when you actually like figure out how to do this stuff is so rewarding but that learning curve is very I just looked it up and the Hamburg's one season in the Bundesliga was 17-18. How is my boy the year that Chalka finished second? How's my boy feet are man? I do these are professional team. I need I need Bayern to keep on buying these bad guys, bro. My my revenge. He's at Holstein Kiel. Not a real person. He's, he's only twenty. Oh my god! He's got one goal, two assists in the second game. Man, congratulations! Twenty games. Twenty eight. Twenty games. Oh, I think he said he's twenty eight, and I was like, oh my god! No, he's twenty three. Oh he's twenty three. I was like, dude, if he's twenty eight, I'm like actually gonna like. Go a lot of money. Three million. Less than I thought they did. Less than Matthew Hoppy. Salute to Matthew Hoppy, man. Uh, Not that man got a bag and did nothing else. He made five whole appearances for Mallorca last year. Where is he now? He was at Millsburg. I think he's at Millsburg now. Because he got... Was he Unfortunately. Oh, he got bought by Middlesbrough, but he's sent on loan to Hibernian. Man. One goal, two assists in the Scottish League. That's how you know that league is fake. Okay. I'm really Maybe we should bring the sea guy back. Hmm. Oh. Ever Matthew Hoppy and uh, what's his face? And uh, got his name already. Weston McKenney, bro. America's future. McKenney did this thing where he just ran around. <laughs> hey. I am not joking. From the day that Chalka fans said that he would be a key pillar for the team in the future, I went on a vent or went on a, this this rampage of like, no, he's not good. Because I always thought he was fine. 
But the problem is he's fine. He's not good. It's he's okay. Like, fine, but yeah, it's not. It's not bad. It's just hey, man, if you're telling me this guy is a is a pillar of your squad, uh, it's about to hurt. Oh, because he is that guy that you just throw in as a third midfielder when you've got the other two figured out. Just the like, guy. Okay, we've, no, got, we've got the defensive midfielder. We've got the defensive midfielder carried it out, and then we've got the playmaker next to him figured out. Okay, and the third one, uh, just put the kid in there. It's fine. That is basically what every team does. Why the hell is this is quad player? Respect me. I'll Pep saying how you play in Congo is killing you, man. Yeah. He uh, he knows how to deal with the uh, the popples. Bro's knees are gonna like break after seeing the fields, bro. Yeah, I know they do artificial pitches too much. He doesn't know what it's like in the board. He doesn't know what it's like though when you're pitching this water log. My expectations for tomorrow is either we lose 3 0 or we win 1 0. Who are y'all nope. playing? Dortmund. Oh, y'all are winning. I'm calling it. Don't want to kill me because they won 10 of 10 after the World Cup. Uh, yeah, and then they lost to Chelsea. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. That league, man, is very scary. Hey, man. Uh, I, I, literally, I told you from the very beginning that they fake. Their manager is literally just like a kid's manager who's like, Alright guys, good job, good job. And the players are like, believing like, oh, we're really good. He's telling us good job. This is what happens like on FM when you keep having praise over and over. The morale goes up, but eventually it all crumbles because your players lose their belief and that's all they had. All I have to say is what what team did uh, Dortmund lose to before they went on this unbeaten run? What was the last team they lost to? Can't be real. Vietnam. What was Vietnam? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> they played Vietnam in a friendly. They that's have, nice. I, I put on a jerk. I was I was player manager, man. I I had to do it for you, Ethan. They had Donyal Malin playing in that game too, so it wasn't like they had the scrubs. Oh my god. This one. Uh, yeah. Dortmund somehow managed to buy three strikers and ended up with zero strikers. They Who the hell did they? Adeyemi. That dude, in the year they were playing Adeyemi, Malin, and uh, and uh, Haller. Oh no, not Heller. Um, Mokoko. So yeah. They had three strikers that aren't strikers. Wow, I lied. Technically, they lost. They lost to Fiorentino was the last team they lost to. But Bonaventura and Mandragora goals. Wow. But yeah, they lost to Vietnam, and their lineup was. They had Malin, Salih Ostchan. Uh, let's see, who most played? Nico Schulz, uh, Paslak, and this Alexander Meyer fella played. Felix Pass, okay. like, what do you play? I can't believe he's still alive. He's a Schalke fan, you know? Schalke fan, but came up through the Dortmund Academy. This is what it, the game is all about. Para, so guess how old... He guess how old you gotta sacrifice to get a bag. Para, guess how old this past black fella is. Ask me like this before, because I remember him from high school. Man. Dude, he's only 24. What the hell? Well, bro, bro. This guy that means I don't remember it from high school, I remember it from college. He must Dude, have been I'm in that Rafael Guerrero era. Passlack really turn like turns 25 at the end of the season. He's coming back to Schalke once we go down. Two, two total, two, bro, this guy's only played two, 24, uh, 48 total minutes in the Bundesliga this season. That's what it's all about. They've decided that they need to play Marius Wolf, who has a combined three brain cells. <laughs> he isn't any good, we understand, bro. Dude, this my club, he wanted to, he was a friend, by the way. 
Which ones, bro? You can tell us, bro. Wow. He doesn't know ball, unfortunately. Dude, wasn't Marius Wolf a, a striker before this? He was like a winger, but he played as a wing back. How many how many fake Germans can these guys conjure up, bro? Well, the thing faker is when you get to the Austrians that play in the Bundesliga, like every Austrian that you know in the Bundesliga is either a guy who just runs around or a backup goalkeeper. Hmm. Those are the two types of Austrians you can have. Oh, Xavier, Xavier Schlager. Schlager, yeah. Schlager again, one of those guys who just runs around. Hans Wolf. Wolf? Han Hans Wolf, yeah. So this guy who just runs around. Um, <sighs> also, Conrad Leimer. Leimer just runs around. Yeah, but he ran That's around enough to uh, secure a, a, a move to uh, what's his face? Dortmund, Leimer? right? Not Dortmund. Bayern. Leimer? No. I he, uh, dude, I swear I saw they were like, yo, he going to. He going there. I mean, Savitzer is probably who you're thinking of. Again, same thing. <laughs> no, he isn't there yet, but I'm saying they said Liner is going there at the end of the season or something like that. Oh, let's see. I'm looking through this right now. There's also an. Uh, let's see. That's not his own phone. I'm not having fun. Uh. Philip Leinhardt. Oh, no. is that Pepe? What's good, man? Pepe joined the Twitch stream. Is that Pepe also? Pepe. What's up? What time is it in Italy? Has to be past your bedtime. Ethan, do you know who Philip Leinhart is? Yes. Dude, Kevin Dunso failing at Southampton just to make it at Lons is what the game is all about. Oh, Maximilian <laughs> Vogel. We are, we are staying up, bro. Our, my my Saints are staying up. We are, dude. If the Saints somehow, I I just need honestly, I just need a Kamaldine Suleiman goal on a uh, against United. Will not happen. By the way. It'd be hilarious. Yeah, just, I just want to laugh at him. Just for him. I just want to laugh. Dude, it was. Dude, it was like, if it happens, Ham would have a birthday. I think Cam. Yeah. You know how Ham has been complaining about Doku and like Suleiman for like mm, like ages, bro. Dude, one of my I, one of my one of my friends, he was like, "Bro, Doku is nice, bro. Like, blah blah blah." I was like, <laughs> "I was like, dog, have you watched Doku? What was the last time this guy completed a 90, bro?" You know what the thing is with Doku, he didn't have the euros. Or <laughs> he didn't he didn't even look that good. He was just running. Yeah, my friend was like, my friend was like, he only watched him with the euros. He's like, "Bro, Doku, you know, he's just a, he would be a game changer for this Belgian team, whatever." And I was like, "Dog, <laughs> I heard too much about." It. About from Ham complaining about this girl, I was like, when was the last time this guy played nine? Yeah. All I'm saying is Belgium's going to look different now that Tedesco is managing them. Is he actually? Yes. Wow, I'm He's out the game. He's managing them. He, he got hired like a month and a half ago or something. Man. Ethan, do you know who Christoph Baumgartner is? Christoph Baumgartner. Is Does he also just run around? Yep. Florian Heinz and Romano yep. Schmid. Yep. Mm. Nice, 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 nice. Oh my god. This one hard. Black maps are hard. Just like you existed. Well, mo modest, bro. Modest, bro. Uh, wow, Bayer Leverkusen, bro. 
Oh my god, that actually was the year that Kiesling won the Golden Boot. Stefan Kiesling? Yeah. Dude, Stefan Kiesling is like... Is that just like your normal white German dude who's just there, yeah, bro? Yeah, just, just there. God, this, this is a trip down. Oh. Um, number one, Stefan Kiesling with 25 goals. Alexander Meyer, the Frankfurt guy who had cancer. Who? I can't remember. It's like no. a big, uh, it's like a tall, like, attacking midfielder slash striker from Frankfurt. Who had What's his name? Had cancer. Alexander Meyer. M E I O. Oh, Oh my Wait, God. I do remember this guy. Top goal scorer in 2014-2015. Never, bro. How bad were these guys that they were just chilling in the league and like they couldn't get call-ups, bro? No, not even pity call-ups. What the hell? I mean, yeah, he wasn't good, but he scored a lot of goals. Exactly, bro. Just, just call him up and give him a pity call-up, bro. But that's what that's what I did in uh well, in uh well, well, I mean, Do you guys I'll, know about Bede when he was at Chalka in 2020, 2021 season? Wait, I think you told me this. Don't worry, I know about Ibisovic, bro. I'd be uh, thinking of Mosby. He got in a fight with Naldo, who's the assistant coach. He got into a fight with him? Yeah, like fist fight. Yeah. And, uh, and they were like, yeah, Ibisovic's contract got on. Uh, we we uh all good. No, nothing bad's happening. We are not in the check right now. That was in the. That was when we were about to go down. Adam Shalai with the 13 goals in 2012, 2013. Adam Shalai, the Hungarian. Yeah, the Chalka spent like 2 million on or something. Who's the Who's the Argentinian fellow? There you go. Very good. He played in Germany a lot. Oh, yeah. Fernando. Yeah, let's go turn that guy into the modern day Jolinton man before it was cool. He had him playing as the number eight. You know, three five two. Man. The uh, Franco De Santos scoring against Bayern Munich might never be top. Artyom's Rudnets. Oh my God. Dude, I just think it's funny how it's like. They're like, on Wikipedia, he's listed as a striker, and then you look at like, his like, career goals, and you're like, dude, this is not a real, this is oh, not a real. Yeah, no, he just, yeah. He scored against Bayern Munich, though, so. For you guys? Yeah. In a game we nearly won. You guys spent, you guys spent 6 million euros on him, and then he apologized yeah. to the fans. And Thomas Atkins bad. Was, no, to the fans of uh, Bremen for the controversial switch. Oh and yeah. Thomas I mean, Atkins. Yeah. Thomas Eichen said he was anything but impressed by the swiftness of DeSanto's departure. Dude, he scored a trick for you guys, bro, in the Europa League. Yes, against uh, oh, don't tell me. That's for some of one that stood. Which that against? That wasn't happened. against me. It, it was, was in. Hmm? It was in. Uh, you want to tell you? I don't. I don't. Know, I know what year it was in because we had Maribor. Who's somebody else? In was it? Um, it was one of the Russian teams. You want to tell you? Yeah. Was it against? Tripolis football. Dog, five, five Bundesliga goals for you guys. This yeah, is not. He, he did well in the. Uh, that, that was with oh. uh, Brighton Ryder. Because Brighton Ryder was like, hey, you know what's gonna work, guys? Uh, put Klaasian into Lauren Franco. No, I'm saying like he had 71 total appearances in the Bundesliga for you and five goals. Yeah, great signing. Two years where he didn't score a single goal, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Oh, 
That's how to do it. Okay, I understand this map slightly better now. Last time I didn't finish because I missed the checkpoints. I'm gonna watch. Alright, I, I have to tune into Twitch to watch Paradis. I'm interested now. <laughs> Pepe is in the stream too, I think. If he hasn't left. But yeah, the thing with these maps is just like. If you like games where you have to grind and like your only opponent is yourself, those types of games really really fun because like all the satisfaction is from improving on what you've already done because well, like there's like nothing you can do all the cars go at the same speed there's no like tricks to it so the only trick is just understanding the game better you said the only trick is skill issue but yeah it's literally skill issue <laughs> like if you if you can't get gold the only obstacle between you and like a gold time is being better at the game like this there's no other like thing there's no pay to win to get a faster car all the physics in the game are deterministic so the same input to get you the same results every time so the only barrier oh that guy i slide so early Ooh. Not made the chief. I'm not thought of nice. him forever i think i can do better than solo on this map <laughs> Nice. It kills me how European this game is because like every th I just started playing this game and every track I do I'm like top 10 Nigeria, top 10 Africa. I'm just like bro, <laughs> there's no reason why I should be top 10 in Africa. Yeah, because like, three just people playing play, this game. Man, you're one of them. <laughs> oh my god, I just looked at 13-14 in the Bundesliga. Josip Dermich. Oh man. Was he a Wolfsburg player? Name sounds like I can't from there. Uh, he was at... No. Oh, damn, man. Uh, he was man. at Nuremberg. He was at Nuremberg and then went to Leverkusen and then went to Mönchengladbach. And then he did, uh. So, do you want to do this Oh, Roberto Firmino here. Yeah. Wait, Joseph, Joseph Dermich, this, didn't he go to. He's a, he plays for Switzerland, right? Yeah. My goodness. I remember seeing those Swiss boys and I was like, wow. In the he, was a 21, he was a 21 year old who scored 17 goals in the Bundesliga. So That's how you know. Legit. Once again, once again, fake league, unfortunately. Hey man, he's in Croatia right now playing for Dinamo Zagreb. Respect. Yeah, no, but I remember like watching the 2014 World Cup. I, mean, I, was, like, oh. I was like, I was like, look at all these like um, Swiss Swiss dudes, bro, like Ricardo Rodriguez, Josip Dermich, Seferovic. I was like, whoa. We got a nice young core going. Yeah, they had all the slots. I was like, Admir Mimedi, holy lord. Bro, I feel like he also played for Switch. He did play for Switch. He played at Leverkusen? Uh, yeah, for a little bit. Wow. Towards the end of his career. Don't, I have a sickness for knowing this, okay? I don't want to know how I. I don't know what I know. How are you supposed to jump over? How are you supposed to leap it? That's why I'm, I'm watching the world record and these dudes are so cracked, man. People that like, no life this game. <laughs> the, the stuff that they do with these, uh, with these ice slides. Like, ice is not my surface. Grass, oh my dirt. God. I can be fast, but... Salah Boch Hushti, man. What a name. He's, uh, he's the manager at a team in Hungary now? Ethan, there's what a photo of him with Nico Kovac, man. This is 1984. <laughs> oh, nice he was, girl. He was, he was a player for Frankfurt when Kovac was coaching there. <laughs> and now he's mm. a manager. Yeah, I think the trick with ice is just you're not supposed to accelerate. It's just let the momentum. Let the steering take you to where you're going to go, yeah. You, you gotta can watch out for those Kovac. black ice. Is Kovac a, a Wolf Wolfsburg right now? Nico Kovac? No. Bruh, Ethan. Well... Um, dude, what happened to Yo- Uh, wait, Jonas Hoffman, bro. That guy's finally- His career is back, dude. Do you more can- I think the world There's- there, Bro, remember it was like- It was like- Hoffman and uh... Uh... Who's that guy that they- there's some guy who came up on like a Bundesliga, like from second Bundesliga team. 
and he got called up to the 2014 uh, World Cup, I think, for Germany. He was a winger. Either that or he just lit it up at the time. And then, like, he got bought by Mönchengladbach. He had a bunch of goals. It was like 2013, 14, 12, 13, 13, 14. Maybe even 14. The, one of the 2014 World Cup squad for Germany? Could be. Don't, I don't remember. He could have been, but... Oh, Andre Hahn, Andre Hahn, Andre Hahn. Oh, that guy, that guy's career ended when Johannes Geis, like, destroyed his leg. Johannes Geis, bro. Didn't he play for Schalke? He did, and that's when he broke Andre Hahn's leg. Andre Hahn wants to kill him. Oh my lord, this 2014, oh my god, this 2014 Germany squad. Hey, world, world beaters, bro. Ron Robert Zeller was their backup goalkeeper. Damn, that's a name I will never forget. Hanover, baby. Every time Germany... That guy's like 7,000 games for Hanover 96. The, the, the German media could not get over him because anytime he got linked to somebody when he was at Leicester, they would say, world champion, linked to whoever. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, technically. You're not wrong. But let's, be, let's be frank here, but guys. Dude, yeah. what happened? Where is Ron Robert Zero? What happened to Hanover? What happened to Hanover and Ron Robert Zero? He's back with them in the second division. How old is he? He has to be like 40. 30? 34? Dog, I yeah, he used to be with... young in those days. I swear he was like. Um, he was 25 at the World Cup, yeah. There's no way. This is 1984. Dude, there's actually no way. I. In my head, I had I had this guy picked for like 36 and one. Like to, at the to, World to Cup. even to even further mess you up, Eric Durham got called up for that World Cup. My goodness, Eric Durham, the goat, bro. Borussia Dortmund legend, could play every single position, but was not good at any single one of them. <laughs> oh my God, that's right, he's back at Kaiserslautern. Please check. He's the piece. Not not the just piece check. Who's the guy that played for every single position for Dortmund, but was like not good at all of them? Uh, that's that's literally half their team manager. Right? That yeah. used to be many people, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that was, was like that. Team. But I think yeah. I know exactly who you mean. I you think know, it's, it's a Roman Grosskreutz that you're talking about, right? I think Grosskreutz. it's the German guy. Kevin Grosskreutz, yeah. He played Grosskreutz. everywhere. He played right back. He played midfield. He played DM. He played left, he right wing. He played striker. He played goalkeeper for like. A bit of a match because by the widen feller, widen feller, yeah. Him. You should uh, you should look up the Jermaine Jones tackle in those courts. You, did you smile on and when it happened? Oh, no, yes, <laughs> wow, dude. The only gruesome tackle I've ever seen was uh, Nangolan going in on uh, Federico Mattiello's leg against when he was at Kievo and his leg like literally just snapping in half. I was like, oh, and they were like slow mowing it, they were like, yo, bro, he's. His leg is gone. <laughs> he snapped in half. And I was like, come on, guys. We don't have to slow mo this right now. I put it in the, uh, I put it in the chat. Oh, my God. What a tackle. Ethan, I don't condone violence. Oh, it's violent. <laughs> I will not be watching it. It's not. It's, it, it doesn't break anything. It's just a bad tackle. Shogun Mustafi got called up for this World Cup at St. Pauli. I remember, he played one game. He played one game. He played for Sectoria at the time. Man. Oh, and Christoph Kramer. When Christoph Kramer, his whole world went upside down because he got concussed in like the fifth minute of the game. Yeah, it was like a surprise. He was like a surprise star, remember? They're like, who the f Who is this guy? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember why he started, but he started. Because they had no other defensive midfielders. Everyone else is dead, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold up. This is this is a good exercise in remembering how far ago this was. 2014 Portugal squad had Bruno Alves. I 
Bro, Christoph Kramer going on being on loan at Gladbach from Leverkusen to come back to just go back. That guy was just chilling, man. <laughs> oh, dirt! I should be able to do better on this. Dirt is more forgiving because it's like there's so many like rally games that people have grown up playing that you kind of like when you see dirt you kind of have a vague idea of what to do but like ice how many how many games are there where you're supposed to drive on ice <laughs> like a formula car bro they, Very they, give you, they give you the ice tires bro the snow tires yeah, exactly but in this I game you're, you're driving on slick tires and the whole idea is that the car is supposed to be like a toy car <laughs> but it's like scaled up to real life size so there's like people in the stadium and stuff well, the guy still looks like a toy car that you're driving, so it's very, uh, very cartoonish. I just looked at the United States squad for the 2014 World Cup. <laughs> you, you want to cry, Ethan. Ethan, you're going to cry. That is uh, one the of the fact that, The fact that I see Brad Davis on this list is all <gasps> an issue for concern. <gasps> he was the guy who played like 400 games for Houston Dynamo, and all he could do was cross the ball. Where's, where's, where's Noah to come and be like, man, that guy had not gave me a lot of memories growing <laughs> up, bro. Jeff Cameron, the uh, January 6th invader. Very insane Which person. Jeff Cameron. 2010's US men's national team had so many characters, man. Not even just counting Michael Brad. Wait, what does Jeff Cameron do? I'm like, uh, he, he existed in my head. I don't know anything since he's retired. Or, well, he's uh, a super trim guy. Yeah, but so is like uh, the only good, uh, well, the first good at Man of United, quote unquote, Academy product. I remember oh, Beckerman was a white guy with dreads. Cal oh. Beckerman. I can't I remember that. That was crazy. I was like, who is this guy? Bro was just out there playing, man. Uh, who else? The Marcus Beasley. We've got Gatley. or the number 10 for this team. Yep. Who? Mix. He used to be in New York City. Oh man, dude, I have Aaron talking... Johansson number one. Wow, I remember when Aaron that guy Johansson was... still plays by the way, he plays in uh, Iceland. Aaron Johansson, Icelandic guy that was killing it in the Born in Mobile, Alabama, man. I don't Can't know how that him. happened. Ooh, ooh, hey, his dad he, he's from Iceland bro. Even though he was born in Mobile. I know, but that... I don't know how he was born in Mobile. Dude, his parents were on a sh uh, a shrimping boat, alright? That's all I can say. Like, what do you want him to do at that point? They're like, ah, I guess that's got a good bird. Man. Dude, I remember Aaron Johansson, they were like, yo, he's carrying in the Air Divisier with AZ Alkmaar. He's going to the Premier League. I remember reading I, this. I, I, won't, I won't even mention one of the other strikers who used a uh, chance in that World Cup. Josie, Josie. No, 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 no. <laughs> Julian? No, Julian's no. a winger. Who the heck? This one, Golovsky. Oh, the GOAT, bro. Uh, MLS hero, bro. They, dude, they was talking about... They was talking about Wondolowski, like, he was like, man, like, uh... You know that, that own, the only guy who played in the MLS, like, right, uh, at the time, for the, this, uh, season's, not this season, this squad's world, uh... This squad's World Cup? The, who's the guy, the center back? You know what I'm talking about, Ethan? There was multiple MLS players. For real? The one who started. There was Omar Gonzalez. No, 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 I'm in 2022 a men's uh, World Cup. The one guy. Oh. Um, the one who would have played because it would have been Miles Robinson. No, it's not Miles Rob. Wow, Miles. If Miles Robinson played, I would have played. I mean, like USA, uh, Atlanta, maybe. But no, the one who did play, the one who, who always had the man bun in the back. Oh, Walker Zimmerman. Yeah. Walker Zimmerman. Yeah, they were talking about. They were talking about Walker Zimmerman like the same way he, they were talking about uh, Chris Wondolowski, but. Right? Walker is actually okay. Chris Wondolowski, San, San Jose Earthquake Legend. Oh my god. Uh, by the way, hilarious name. Why would you name it? San Jose Earthquakes? You guys are sick fellows, man. They used to be the San Jose Clash. Dude, when I was chilling with my brother in San Jose in uh, San Francisco, there was an earthquake in that region too. They're like, yo. You feel that? I, I like, mean, that's like calling yourself the Miami Hurricanes, you know? Exactly. I was like, I mean, I guess. I this like Belgian it... team is uh, quite funny as well. Dude. It, it literally didn't change. 
Dude. until like this last World Cup. Dude, my IRL's telling me, bro, I believe in Belgium, bro. Belgium, nice, bro. Belgium, I'm like, shut up, bro. I man, never, like, I sold sucked. my soul for Belgium, man. I, I said De Ketelaar was going to save them, and that guy played like 10 <laughs> minutes. It was and Roberto they were Martinez, awful. man. He's played the same team for 10 years. They were the oh. worst team in the World Cup. Dude, bro, dude. No, 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 Denmark. Denmark, bro. Them, them guys, them guys came in with a protest and everything and still stank it up, bro. Like, <laughs> folks yeah, forgot people. In, uh, 20, in 2014, uh, Daniel Van Boyten was in the Belgian team. Manchester City. Yeah, Van, Van Boyten was Belgian. Remember that guy from Bayern? I remember he came on in like the last 10 minutes of the Chelsea final and they conceded immediately. I'll never forget. <laughs> That was the first Champions League I ever watched, and I think I saw the. Uh, I didn't. Are I, you I think fucking I saw the kidding? Football, the oh my god, so that's the most oh irritating god. end to a lap I've ever had. Like, this is why this game is so stupid. It has these like booster tracks that give your car like special effects, like being able to fly or stay close to the ground. Wow, and like, yeah, they're very tough to control. The thing is, Tara, your your audio on my on my phone because I'm listening to Discord on my phone is just a bit ahead. Than my Twitch stream. Oh. So you think I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm like, some stupid spot. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad lap until that moment. As a yeah, Jack Minya moment. That's funny. Ethan, read me the rest so I can laugh at Belgium. Roberto Martinez sold those nerds of dreams when they were. Uh, I'm the, not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. I don't. I won't read anybody with single digits because they're people you don't expect. Like Fellaini, Vermal, and company for Tommy and what sold the Bruyne. Yeah. The yeah. Hazard. Those guys you expect. Uh, Therese Mertens was on there, who somebody made a fake rumor that he was going to Schalke and it got the Oh, Edmund Yenazai. That's great. Special Master man. Ch Master Chad. Special Chad. man. But I hate him because he ruined the Japanese dreams of making it past around a 16 in 2018. But he sold, he sold, Roberto Martinez in 2018 sold so many casuals' dreams with that third place finish. Bro. I was like, this <coughs> Mickey. Anthony Vandenbora, the like bald right back. That was super tall. Yeah, he um was born in the DRC. Insane. Never asked why he was there. Bro. He was born in. <laughs> what was he doing there? <laughs> Is he like YouTube half thumbnail. black? Is he like half black? The half. It's the same way South African players are half black. Well, oh, he he did. Oh. Yeah, the Congolese oh. mother. He kind yeah. of looks, yeah, he looks mixed. I was like, I was like, all right, I can see it. Like, you got something cooking up there, bro. Bro, please, Ethan, look at look at where look at his career. Twenty seventeen. I, I, I am looking at it. Twenty seventeen. Look where he went, bro. I know he went to TP Mazembe. He went to TP He went to TP Mazembe, and then he disappeared for for three years, three to three years without a club, and then he signed for Underlet. My goodness. Ethan, read me some more funny squads, man. You I guys should check. Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria has some insane squads. Dude. That was, was a group A. We were, we, were playing, we, were playing the, we were playing soccer for my PE class, and I missed an open goal. And my Nigerian teacher looked at me and he said, Sofras, you remind me of this like really bad Nigerian soccer player. I was like, all right, bro, thanks. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, but I was like, dog. Probably no crashes, I can guess over on that map. No crashes. All right. Nigeria. Goalkeeper. Oh. Vincent, Vincent Anich and Yema. And Ichebe, bro. The one who was at Everton, who never scored. Yep. Everton has a lot of Nigerians, actually. Joseph Yobo, most prominent. Ross Barkley. Yes, Joseph Yobo is also. <laughs> also Ross Barkley. I've never even heard of this guy. Oh, because he was. Okay. This guy is a winger wearing number three. GK. Who's a winger? The winger in question. Failed winger. Turned fullback. I, I, was he a fullback? <laughs> he was at Ren. Oh my god, he got loaned to Ren. <laughs> before, he, got loaned, he got loaned to Ren from the Lubu Rangers. Hey, before before he was time at the, at the club, though. Yeah, I, th this team is basically like all of the Premier League players. 
What? It's like the golden age of, of Nigerians in the Premier League. What is it? It's like obviously Mikel Obi, John Mikel Obi, oh my fucking John Mikel Obi, yeah. Victor Moses. Dog. Victor Moses. Peter Odom Winnie. My dude, these are these are man. Take me back. Before he came to the Premier League, but I'm at Musa. I'm at Musa at Russia. At CSK yeah, Moscow. Yeah, yeah, that guy's if he's young, he is for CSU. Has he scored for oh, wait? How many goals does he have for Nigeria? I feel Literally like he's not. Our all-time top scorer. Sixteen. Like, for real? Yep. 16, 16 goals. Well, he's not. He's at all time appearances, not top scorer. I misspoke. Yeah. He has 107 appearances. Though. Why? When the winger is durable, you know they are so, so ass. Like, when when the I winger, mean, like, the never misses is, a game. The, the <laughs> thing is, man, apparently he's 30, but, like, I mean, come on. Yeah. The 13 question. <laughs> My teacher said the same thing. I was like, bro, you need to. Get onto the MLS team, bro. And he's like, "Yeah, I'll go. I'll go <laughs> get a fake passport real quick." And I was like, "All right, man." Shol Shola Amiobi was on this team. My bro, new cap. Was it? Wasn't he the one with like the three brothers who were all like? Yes. Who were all bad? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Shola Sami and another guy. Yeah, the other guy. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, it it, it 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 was it's basically how Tammy gets called Tammy. Yeah. Tommy yo. Tommy Yeah, guys that are named like Tommy Wa, they usually go by Tommy when they go to Giant or Yankee. That's uh, England and America in Pigeon. Giant. Wow. Like great <laughs> instead of Great Britain, you say Giant. I hear them day for London. I hear them day for Yankee. I hear them day for London. I be yelling at my teacher. I be like, yo, idea ball. And he just laughs. Idea. <laughs> my, idea. Shirt, my, idea. my shirt idea. gets so tired of hearing that from me. I, I tap my head too and I'm like, idea, idea. What a time. What <laughs> a like, time. Yo. Dude, that was a good time, bro. I'm happy Dude, with that. No major crashes and everything. That was really good. Yeah. I don't but think I, I can get gold on these maps until much later. But I just want to finish all of them. And then have I can start gotten... having fun. Have I gotten what? Have you, even got, have you gotten gold on any of these? Yeah, a few of them. The early game ones, I've gotten gold on like... Uh, all the whites except the ice one. All the greens except the one that was like three laps. I got gold on this blue, but then once I got to the blue maps, they started getting like super hard. So I started searching for silver. Wait. And then... This map, hunting this map was just irritating me. But yeah, so winter so 23, I'm 12th uh, in Nigeria right now. <laughs> and I haven't even so gotten far, like so all Apparently bolts. they uh, they added an Amsterdam map on Mario Kart now. Oh, I think I've seen it. No, yeah, this I game... Gotta... This game literally has like people who make... um People who make F1 maps. Like if you look at uh, this... Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're on the stream now, Ethan. But people mm -hmm. like... They literally make all the F1 tracks in like the game and they make it like the same layout so you can uh, you can go on like any of them and it literally looks like uh, it looks like the Formula 1 and then you can like race on them the same way in Formula 1 and try to get uh, that's the thing with games like this where everything is community driven it's like the developers don't even have to do much. They, only, they just need to give people the tools and stay out of their way. The engine, yeah. 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 Just let people like put whatever blocks they want, and then they can just like go crazy. And they will literally like mod, mod all the cool stuff into the game. Like people make a lot of custom tracks, and it's like, yeah, your only limit is just how much time and effort you want to dedicate. Like there's people who. They're not even that good at the game, but they just like making maps. And then there's people who are like insanely good at the game. And they just like hunt world records. And like, yeah, really fun community in the game. I don't know if you know one of these YouTubers, Virtual. He does a lot of Trackmania uh, videos. And they usually go like decently viral. Because it's very entertaining. But like, yeah, the... I obviously haven't practiced this map, so this is not a good time. At all. <laughs> you are, you are holy. Yeah, this is like I just looked at the, silver. Uh, the Chile squad for the 2014 World Cup. 
They had they had chorizo completo up there, bro. I think they it used Miko to be so Albernos. good, man. Miko Albernos. He um he did something. Statutory rape. Yeah, that's what he did. That's right. And then oh, who was the guy that stuck his finger in in um was it Kavani's ass or something? <laughs> They, oh God, they had Marcelo Diaz listed as a uh, as a uh, spry 27 minutes at this time. Women's Racing League. We love to see it. Was that was Gonzalo Parra? Was that him? Oh, Felipe Gutierrez, man. When he was at Twente, he was new to that machine. Oh, and then he got somehow went to like what? And he went to Betty sucked and went to Sporting Kansas Royals, bro. Don't understand Betty. Uh, Betty. Real Betty. 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 Uh, Betty. Betty. And then they showed the Nigeria flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Betty. Betty. Finiti George. It's so society how like in the nineties Nigeria genuinely had one of the best teams. In World, but we just were so unserious that like we haven't been able to stay good. It's all and now so that funny. like looking at legends, looking at like legends <laughs> records for national teams, did you realize how little they played? What's that about Nigeria is that we we went to so many World Cups and we're completely terrible. And now that we actually played the best football in CAF, we didn't qualify. Because of the, the of worst like, rule in football, the way goes rule. Insane. Just Ghana just like came the... came to us, parked the bus, and like they were rewarded for trying not to win. Just completely mm -hmm. insane. But I think with us, then we can definitely win something. The first time in 16 years, y'all didn't go to a World Cup, man. Yep. And we had the best team of any of those years, by far. By Dog. far. That would have been a man. Men healthy. Yeah, the, like, Osimhen would have eaten at this World Cup, man. Because, like, there were so many embarrassing teams, like... I also if we were in that Ghana's group, we would have battered... Battered... I was surprised that Ghana battered didn't get out, man. Yeah, they're just not serious. They, they never tried I mean, to score. The, the game against Portugal, it was right there, but they just didn't win it. Dude... Oh, we they, would have battered Portugal, man. A, I was so did, irritated. Did they miss a pen or something? No, that was, that was against Uruguay when they missed the pen. There was yeah. something funny about that game that I was yeah, like... Yeah, the, the ghost of Luis Suarez oh. was watching over the man. No, the Portugal game was um when uh Diego the, uh, the goalkeeper Diogo Costa decided to troll in like the last few oh, seconds. Oh, yeah, 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 and they missed it, yeah. Dude, you have Onuachu. Oh, no, Onuachu is not a real player, bro. That guy that guy is the funniest. I, I think he's scored the funniest hat-trick I've seen in my life. Let's see. Terra Mofi. Mo, you got Mofi. Chukweze. Uh, Lookman, uh, what's his face? Ad Adamola Lookman is on their team? Yeah. What's his face too? Can they figure silver on this map? Moses Simon, Moses Simon, and Emmanuel Dennis. Emmanuel Dennis being 25 is like... Insane. Also, Nigeria is just good to Belgium. They just good to Belgium and who, who under no pressure. And then the second they go I to mean, a serious everybody, team. Everybody <laughs> in Africa has goes to Belgium, man. Because their their registration rules are basically just like, ah, uh, can he play? Okay, he's in. I swear. Dude, I must like I I gen I genuinely think like 1984 with Emmanuel Dennis being 25, bro. I swear this guy they were like, yeah, this guy's like 20, like 30 something, bro. Wow, I didn't catch that. That's insane. Like, is it? It wasn't. Emmanuel Dennis was he the one at Wofford? He was the one at Wofford who scored the goal that uh, what's his face killed off a uh, Ole, right? Yeah, dude, I swear that guy, like, I was like, this guy's like 30 something, right? But I know <laughs> he's 25. It kills me that, like, like, I was saying, like, all the old players that, like, didn't play that many times. Like, Okocha played 73 games for, for Nigeria. Yep. And you, you, you know, you think of, like, him being, like, oh, the best player ever, so he played more. Or, like, uh, oh, I almost skipped that slow mo. Almost. Was, like, oh. Croy Croy only played 12. 48 games with the Netherlands. I'm happy with bronze. Bro, sometimes these guys are just like, I don't feel like playing. <laughs> they just want to go. 
Of course, the last yeah. map is full ice. Oh my god. Chidiye Bube, Chidiye Bube, Gideon, Ebube, Guru. And Stopuru, Stopuru Chuku, Bruno, Onye, on. I don't want to say. Onye Machi. Onye Machi. Onye Machi. Maduka Okoye. Uh, Adebayo. Yeah, Ad Kofi, that's a good player. Francis, hey, Francis Uzoho. Francis he, Uzoho. <laughs> that's the keeper that, like, they make fun of him for, for, how, for how old he looks. <laughs> He's 24? Yeah, insane. If you see his face, you're like, this guy being 24 is just unbelievable. Well, I mean, you know, I don't want for reasons. I don't, I don't want to play those things where it's like, bro, this guy faked his, <laughs> his, his birth certificate, but like, dog, this guy, <laughs> this guy is not 24. I no chance in hell. <laughs> These bobsled parts aren't so me. bad, but like... It, it kills me that uh, Silas didn't come out with his thing until he was injured already. Where he was like, ah, I'm not going to play anyway, so just, you know, do what you got to do. What's his name? Silas. Uh, Katompa Mbunta. The, the Ooh, guy who's well, not a bad uh... Silas Oh, Sil oh, Silas Mwangatuka. Yo, That's not what's his name? Yeah, I know. What is he doing now, bro? Uh, he. He's just that stuff. I don't just think he does much of anything. 24. Bro, he was supposed to be special, but they're like, they're like wow, he, this guy. He definitely played in Chuck with his best. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get past that? Oh my god, Bokum won today. They only, he only played nine games last season, bro. I think he had a major injury. Yeah, he was, that's what I said, he was injured. Like, he waited until he was injured for like a long time before he said like, Hey, no, yeah guys, I uh, faked my identity. Because <laughs> he had a ban, he got a ban from it. Three months. But he was already, but he was oh. already injured, so it didn't matter. Born in Kinshasa, bro. It was. It wasn't even his, his thing or anything. It was like this. Oh please, 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 please! Yes! Oh my God! Finally! Oh, don't lose it! Ugh. His agent basically had told him like, you have to fit your age in order to get this trial with Belgium, with a team in Belgium, and he didn't. Want to, but he just did whatever his agent told him to because. Bro, he just wanted to make it out the hood, bro. Oh, Maduka Okoye. This is the the guy that everyone that I remember they were thirsting over in um when it was uh, Afcon. <clears throat> bro, El, El Shaddai Bishuabi, bro. That guy was hilarious. Six foot five at seventeen, man. Those remember those pictures of the PSG kid who was like they were like the U12s and this guy was like a giant over them. Yeah. We have a player at Chocolate like that. That was just like I just remember seeing them. They were like, "There's, there's no way this guy is 12." I'm like, "No, he is. He's literally only 17 right now." <laughs> From the DRC. We have a 16. -year -old I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that. 92. Adebayo Adelaide. Who is this guy? What's, what is this one ninety two centimeters? Inches. That's like six four. Yeah. Six four and a half, six four. We have a 16-year-old in our academy who's six three and a half. Right, Osai Samuel. And oh fuck. William Truste Kong. Yeah, that, that, that guy oh, used to be at Udinese. I, I, I know about him because he used to play for Haugesund in Norway. He did. Which is, where my, which is where my dad's friends are from in Norway. Your dad has Norwegian friends. I, did I not tell you this before? No. When he was in Rainbow, his band used to get booked for a festival in Norway, and they went like every other year for about 10 years. How did this, how did, how did some Norwegians find them? They're like, hey. I, they were in New Orleans, and New Orleans and Norway have that connection because of the North Corps. Oh, for real? Yeah. I mean, like, there I used know to be a, There used to be a Norwegian church in New Orleans up until a couple of years ago. Oh, I did not know. Kevin John Ufuoma. Paul Guma. I'm reading through the list. Calvin Bassi. That guy used to play at Rangers. That guy's good. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, Calvin Bassi. He's got the, he's got the, uh, the 
Yeah, he's, guy, he's got the he's got the left foot center back tech uh, tactics. So yep. You gotta, oh, you gotta bless run, run bless run, bless run, minutes. bless run. Oh my fucking god. This guy basically always... Nigeria or England, bro. What? I always just joke with all of this about this, but it's genuinely true. Like if you if you're a left footed center back, you can bump up your evaluation by two hundred percent. Yep. Oh yeah, those guys are not real. Like they're they don't. Because if you if you, if your foot is left, 360, left 360, 360, 360. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Just go, please. Holy shit! I hate eyes, dude. Look at. Oh my god. Dude, yeah, you guys smoke, bro. <laughs> That's so annoying. I yeah, wish Calvin is such a. How did you know I'm either from England or Nigerian name? I've never seen anyone else have a name like that that was a Nigerian. Unless they're from like the 17th century and they're Dutch. Calvin. Dude, it's Calvinism came from. Mm, yeah, John Calvin. I wrote Ebuwehi. I remember he signed for Benfica and then he just tore his ACL and just never came back. Now he's at Empoli? I genuinely forgot what the is. Um, it's the Make a Wish guy. <laughs> it doesn't help. That's, that's half the league. I swear. <laughs> that's Rashford. Uh, the top scorer in the Bundesliga is Nicholas Fulkrug. Yeah, the Make-A-Wish guy. Dude, literally the Germany team only looked good when he, when he played. I was like, bro, finally, bro. None of this guy had... I need to go to 2010. 2000. Frank Onyeka. Okay, Chukwu. Mario Gomez and Pepe Cisse at the top of the list, okay? Man. Left a good start. This is what the game is all about, bro. Let's fucking go, dude. And Pepe Cisse and Demba Ba were tearing it up at Fargo. Man. Well, didn't one of them used to play at Hoffenheim? Um... I remember them both at Fargo. Can you look it up so I can make fun of you for being right? Uh, if Demba Ba played at Hoffenheim, I wouldn't be surprised. I think it was Dembaba. I did not know Ola Aina switched over to Nigeria. But, but what, what else was he? England? Yeah, it was a lot of guys like that. Him, <coughs> Tamori, Tammy Tem Abraham. Tem oh, that's Tem right. Tem Dembaba, Dembaba was it. Tammy Tayo, Oli Fest, Oli. Oh, what the fucking ice slide, dude. Holy shit. No, please, please! Oh my god. I don't care, I'm resetting. I'm resetting, I don't care if I... No, you just... Oh my days, bro. Uh, Temetayo Olu Fisayo Oluwa Aina. Your band name's always like that. Did I really fucking skip the boost? Holy shit. I'm so finished, man. I just want to finish this map. I don't even care about the medal. I just want to finish the map. Harry, do you have a long name like that too, or is it just Michael Hope? Yeah, it's just Michael Hope. People from the state I'm from tend not to have those. Mm. Damn, see, if I didn't English reset, I'd have gotten bronze. That's so annoying. I think I can do better. Yeah, like, it's mainly Yoruba you know, people that have Bougia, names like in that. In Abuja, they, they have the international names. Yeah, but things that I'm not actually from... I was born in Abuja, but my parents are from Akwaibum. And Akwaibum people tend to have very, like... Uh, very normal Christian names. Ugh. Lots of uh, biblical Hebrew names because most people they are Christians, but like Yoruba people are the ones that tend to give their children like names that are full sentences like God has given me joy or whatever. So <laughs> that's usually where the Olua something 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 comes from. It's always like Olua or Olami. Anything like Olu or La is always God. So God has given uh, another, me another name I have just come across for the first time in a long time is Muhammad Al Abdullawi. My goodness, Norwegian, Norwegian, Moroccan, bro. He rocks my yeah. world. And also Sami Alagui, which I don't remember. Something happened with Sami Alagui. Save your, save your dog. Real, dude. I'm. Oh, this was the the guilty sacred series. That that Hoffenheim team when they first got the the Hop investment, bro. Yeah, it was cooking. 
Dude, I can't believe I thought I thought Ike Nacho would uh Ike Nacho would have more goals for uh, It's because Brendan Oh, never mind, Nigeria. Yeah, I don't know man. I don't know man. He's just uh he tends not right. to they tend to push him out wide like diseased people. Either that or they play weird formations that don't allow him to shine, but like I feel like he's best in either 442 or 433 when he can be besides uh, in one window. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I'm still, on the, I'm still on the Nigerian national team page of Wikipedia. This guy, Ahmed Musa, really has more appearances than a goalkeeper. Yep. This is a thick guy. You suck. 2010 to present, bro. Come on, man. I'm looking at. To this one window Hoffenheim had when they first got Deep Marhol. They signed Kevin Volland, Roberto My Firmino, Sebastian Rudy, Guilty Sigurdsson, and Ryan Babel in the same window. Listen, Kevin Volland was special, man. Is special. They signed him from Oxford, Texas, which in English is just 1860. Oh, uh, 1860 uh, Mu uh, Munich. Yes. Which, although they just say Zaxish normally, it's so just 60. Uh, okay, it's, a I'm... Lot, it's a lot easier to say just 60 instead of Oxen Zaxish Munchen. That's true. 360. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. They also signed Pinio Malapa from 1860, don't you? That guy was. What a fucking star. Eyes, like, that guy was a star on foot. The, the good one, just the good one. Come on, come on, land it, Terra. Yeah, I can still save it, I think. Dude, I did not know Obafemi Martins was one of the top goal scorers for Nigeria at 18. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who else? Do you know who the top scorer for Nigeria nice. is with a 0 0.6 goals per game ratio? Has to be awesome, man. No, Osimhen is at uh, 15 goals in 22 appearances. He's uh, number nine right now, but the top goal scorer for Nigeria with 37 goals. Hmm. I don't know who this guy is. So officially done with Winter. I can start having fun. So let's see what else is going on here. We play for Africa Sport.